Thanks for watching My First Vegetable Garden. Subscribe and my brother and I will show you how to grow an entire garden in 2023. For first time gardeners, maybe you're just getting started. The fall is not too late to grow in flower boxes or shallow containers. I'm going to go over that whole process with you. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. It's the middle of October. I put in some radish seeds in September 6, spinach on the same date, and then some loose leaf red lettuce. Your cool weather crops, radishes, lettuce, spinach, there's other crops too, can take a frost. These actually are coming out of a freeze from last night. Beautiful radishes, they're just about ready to harvest. Just growing in a flower box that's about six inches deep, three and a half inches wide. And you can see that there's frost on some of the leaves. We have some right over here, right on the lettuce. They can freeze all the way through, they thaw, and then they're perfectly fine. But you can just set up a basic box like this. You want a potting mix, it will say potting mix or container mix on the bag when you buy it. It's set up so that it really holds moisture and it does your, your plants justice. You don't want to use dirt or fill dirt or something lesser. You should say potting mix or container mix. You don't, you need, don't to need to buy any granular fertilizer to mix into the soil. I recommend just getting a water soluble organic fertilizer like fish emulsion. So you would put in your container mix, put in your seeds, a pattern like this for radishes, spaced out, should have been a spinach right in there. Every couple of inches for spinach, a little bit closer for lettuce. Put the seeds in, water it in, water it in with fish emulsion or another water soluble fertilizer at planting time. After they germinate, once they germinate, about two weeks after that, you can hit them again with a water soluble fertilizer and you can do that every two weeks or so until you harvest them. The whole key to growing in containers is making sure you use the right mix if you want to subscribe, we'll teach you how to make potting mixes and container mixes a lot more cheaply than it is to go out and buy them in bags. Get in the right mix, put in your seeds, and then the whole key is just keeping it moist. You got to keep the water in there because you don't have a lot of soil in there for the root system. So keep the soil watered well. That might be once a week when it's cooler. It might be three times a week, four times a week when it's really hot out in the summer. And then you have to keep them fed because the plants are going to use up the nutrients in there. Basic flower box setup. You can buy them, you can make them, and you can grow cool weather crops now in Maryland Zone 7 or warmer. It's getting a little bit late to grow these in the colder areas going up north. But you can start this all again in April. So, you know, maybe this video will give you some inspiration for next year. Spinach, two and a half inch baking foil trays or foil baking trays. Make sure you put holes in there. The water has to drain out. Again, some of the loose leaf lettuce. Onions back there. I just put in some endive into here. More lettuces and spinach. Let me walk around over to there. Same setup. It's a basic potting mix in the two inch trays. Holes in the bottom. And then I water these in with the water soluble fertilizer. Spinach, lettuce, more spinach, have some strawberries back there that'll just be held over until I get them into containers next year. And then these are radishes. And the spacing, you know, for me it's about two fingers, maybe one inch, two inches apart. As long as you keep these moist, well watered, and you give them the fertilizer, they can grow really nicely in here. Radishes aren't just leaves, but most of your leafy greens, 90% water, that's all they need. So you can really grow in these shallow trays. This is a great way to get started. See if you like gardening. Gives you a little bit of a hobby to kind of start messing around with dirt, seeds, soil, fertilizer. And if you like it, you can expand your garden into growing in containers or maybe get, you know, build a garden this size. This is a really big garden. You don't have to start here. But start with something small. Containers, flower boxes. It's a lot of fun. You can harvest your lettuce greens out of here and really have nice salads at home through the early part of fall, even early parts of winter, depending on how cold that it gets. And remember, your cool weather crops can take that freeze and frost. They can thaw, and I'm gonna be able to grow these really into later November here in Maryland Zone 7. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. And again, my brother and I will teach you to grow everything that you see here, but maybe just start with flower boxes and foil baking trays. Thanks for watching.